Good evening everyone. We've been here before. Rural hospitals struggling to keep units staffed with nurses and to provide vaccines to the public. Our Stephanie Poole takes a look at how hospitals are getting through this wave of the pandemic compared to last year. She joins us now live in the studio. Stephanie. That's right. Hospital numbers are steadily climbing, even though we've been in the pandemic for a year now. There's still the unknown of what this surge could mean for health care. In Noxubee County, 1,437 people have contracted coronavirus. One year ago, on July 26, 2020, there were only 267 confirmed cases. And I feel the pandemic has not made it any easier. Medical experts at Noxubee County General Hospital, like Dr. Naim Rahman, are working to keep the community virus free. We don't have that long lines in the vaccine areas anymore, but again, we never have a day, then we have no at all to get vaccinated. Dr. Rahman says providing critical care to patients who contract the Delta variant, especially in rural hospitals, is a bit challenging this time around. One reason, fewer nurses. I think we've been able to manage to keep the system going, to be able to actually be for the patient, I mean, be able to actually keep running the clinic, the hospital the emergency room for now. If you have the same number of patients, but the patient gets much sicker, it actually is more demanding on the part of the nurses or all the healthcare providers. The hospital also modified where certain patients will be housed based on their illnesses. Uh, when the pandemic started, actually, we split the hospital and we have I think four at this point. There were five or six last week. So this is a big jump from even a two weeks ago when we had none for several weeks on end. Not to be General Hospital can house up to 25 people. 10 of those beds are reserved for COVID-19 patients. And get this, a few of the people who are admitted with the virus are actually transferred from other facilities as far as Jackson. Smaller medical facilities are oftentimes hit hardest due to the limited number of ICU beds and transfers. I tried Alabama State, that's a neighboring state. They were wall to wall full, not even a single ICU bed available. So we were suggested to call Texas because the Medcom actually thought even Nashville and the Louisiana will be full at that point too. So how can we help curve those numbers? You've heard it before. Wear masks and be socially distanced. Put some barrier between you and the virus. Ramon tells me the hospital will continue to keep part of the facility reserved for COVID-19 patients for critical care treatment until further notice.